Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're just going to do a real quick update on Parallel 42's campout utility or modification. I think it's the uh, utility. I'm not sure. Either way it's a modification for Microsoft Flight Simulator that pretty much lets you go camping. It's pretty much now Microsoft Camping Simulator. Uh, it's really fun. You can assign the camping things to each different aircraft. So today we have the Milviz PC-6 order in Australian Army colors, but we are actually in New Zealand on top of a mountain. Don't ask me where we are because I have no clue. For today's update, we're just going to go over a couple things. The most exciting thing is that they have now added dogs. In fact, they've added 17 different breeds of dogs. And I'm going to showcase each one of those at the end of this video if you are curious to know more about them. Anyway, let's go ahead, jump in a little closer to the aircraft, and go over some of the extra things they've added since my first video. So for those of you who are not familiar with Parallel 42's campout modification, once you install it, it goes right up here in this fancy toolbar. And if you want to see like a more in-depth walkthrough, I'll link it somewhere up here in the top right hand corner for my last video I made that I legitimately just walked through how to set up the whole thing. And so you'll click on it with the tint in the trees and it pops up this nice wonderful box which has not changed at all from the last one. And then what we can do is we can start adding things by clicking the plus sign. And this really hasn't changed a whole lot. This looks pretty much identical to the last video we went over but they have added some... I don't know why this doesn't want to scroll. There we go. But they have added this kind of filtering item on the side. So if we click through here, we can see loadouts that we have saved into which aircraft they are saved to. Then right here in the backpack, this is pretty much all of our camping related items. So one of the new things they added was this bearskin rug, which when you plop it down, it makes like a, I guess like a sound. So we'll go ahead and do that so you can listen to it. The only difference between my pet and your pet is mine have three inch teeth and they weigh 400 pounds. Yeah, so it makes that when you drop down the bearskin rug and then right now you can see right there staring right at us and you can still just rotate it freely and sometimes it aligns itself with the ground, other times it doesn't. Going through, I think the canopy was here last time. The sleeping bag should have been folding table. I can't remember if this one was here before or not. But we do have a folding table. Let's drag it a little closer so you can get a better view of it. But we got a pizza box, pizza, some other random utensils, which we'll go ahead and come in a little bit closer so you can get a better look at what exactly is on this. Just the, how well detailed it is. They did a good job. So we can see like the pizza box looks like a bear probably attacked it. We got a pizza, some cups, silverware, all really nice stuff. Looking at some other things, we got a vintage chair. We do have a toilet now. And what's neat about our Home Depot bucket, or I guess the Home Peapot, the toilet paper actually blows in the wind. Nice feature. You can also drop down some more rolls of TP if we need them. So there they are. Now let's see what else looks new. All that should be the same. The jerry can might be new. But then if we want to click down, the part I'm interested in the most is the dogs, because I'm a big dog guy. I'm a little disappointed there's no border collie, but we do have this guy, Gunner, which is fairly close to like a healer, but it looks a bit larger. We also have the ability to drop in aircraft. So I'm going to go ahead and back us out so that way we can... Oh, if I can figure out what I'm doing here, that'd be nice. Back us out and zoom us out. So we can kind of see what happens when we drop in an aircraft. We'll grab this cub here. And we'll just park it eh, right about there. Why not? Let's just move it and let's face it towards our aircraft. Kind of like that. Now look, now we got an aircraft sitting right next to us. That's kind of cool. So if you wanted, you could set up a whole scene where it looks like you got a whole bunch of friends that came out to fly with you. 
Then we can drag it around, just like any other item in the game. And they got quite the list of aircraft. They got 172s, the NX Cub, the X Cub, a 152, the Icon, and then the Savage Cub. And finally, you just got the fire and the firewood. Which some of the items actually have animations. So let's scroll in here. We'll specifically scroll into the fire and to the cooler. Because I know these are two items with animations. And I can't remember if I went over this last time. So if we're looking at our fire and our cooler... What's cool is so if we click down here on the fire, so now we go up to this paintbrush with the gear behind it, we can add the grill, which is already on there, so that doesn't help. Now we got two of them, so let's go ahead and remove the grill. That's weird. The grill is not separating. Okay, we found a glitch. Anyway, you can add the grill if you just have the fire pit, and then it will plop this grill directly over the middle of the fire pit which is pretty cool if we come over here to the cooler so right here this red one first of all we can change the color make it random so now it's yellow we can put the drink in and so when we do this watch this little bottle right here you'll see a cap comes out the cooler drink goes in lid stays open but now we can close the lid as well so that's kind of neat i don't know how many people know you can actually do that but even if it doesn't have animations we can click on it like this chair Go in here and we can change up the color with the tints you can tell it to add or remove outside lights so there we can see a bunch of little lights going around the outside and now the lights disappear which parallel 42 gave out an update and in that update we got a teaser of what is to come and so when they put out this link they mentioned that hey we have 17 dogs now but if you scrolled all the way down to the bottom it gave a picture and said pretty much something along the lines of, hey, if you made it this far, here's a teaser. And we're going to get new tents, and it looked like there were skis and clump of snow in the background. So I'm really excited to see what that new update will be when we get it. But to kind of go over the different dogs, in a moment, I will just go ahead and show you a clip of all 17 breeds. But to go over what we have, they each have names. So we have Ace, the German Shepherd, Jester, the Greyhound, Coda, the Belgian Malinois, Wilga, the Napoleon, Neapolitan, sorry, or Neo, yeah, Neapolitan Mastiff. We have Gunner, the Catahoula Leopard. Mocha, the Chocolate Lab. Roxy, the Doverman. Oh, I totally just skipped two of them. Sadie, the Golden Retriever. Bruiser, the Bull Terrier. There's Roxy, the Dover, Doverman. Got Duke, the Pitbull. Tux, the Dalmatian. Cooper, the Malinois. We got Buddy, the Beagle. Nally, the... I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Mountain Dog. Lizzie, the Dash Hound. Hugo, the French Bulldog. And Nacho, the Chihuahua Terrier. Which I don't know why, but little Hugo here. I'm going to plop him down. Preferably not in the fire. Little Hugo here. He reminds me of Zach Galifianakis from The Hangover. I don't know why. It might just be his little bandana. But I like him. He's a cute little guy. I'm a Border Collie guy. I'm disappointed there's no Border Collies. But Hugo is pretty cute. So with that, I'm going to let you guys check out the dogs. And I will see you guys on the next video.